ain't church as usual Can't you tell by the music, bro? Can't you tell by the love you felt? Before you took one step through the door And that next level teaching got us reaching higher Every week, frequent flyers Speaking life despite deceased and viral Meant to be in, cause he's inside It's not a private party, you're invited Come in tired, believe inspired All generations even cyber Find us on the web like these some spiders uh, Let's slow it down So you understand how it's going down Up in here, there's one brew Gotta love everybody that comes through Them doors, in short Grace is what we endorse Faith is what we help grow So Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that we able to enter your gate with thanksgiving, oh God. God, we're thankful that we're able to enter into your courts with praise, oh God. So God, we pray now, oh God, that you let your fire, that you let your glory, oh God, begin to fall into this place like never before, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, we pray that now, oh God, that we hear from the throne of you on today, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, oh God, we pray that right now, oh God, that you let your spirit and you let your glory be revealed like never before, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we know that people have came in with the need, oh God, and God, we asking you that now that you feel the needs of your people on today, oh God. Father, whatever they struggling with, whatever they dealing with, oh God, God, whatever God may be keeping them bound, oh God, Father, I declare a decree that now, oh God, that God may begin to break now, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, even in this atmosphere now, oh God, Father, I declare a decree that now that you break every spirit of bondage, that you break every spirit of confusion, that you break every spirit of lack, that you break every spirit, oh God, that may not be like you, oh God. Father, I pray that now that we come on one accord with you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. For Father, we come on today to be unified, oh God. Father, we come on today to come into unity, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And so, Father, I pray that now, oh God, that I bring every head of division, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, I pray that now, God, in this atmosphere, oh God, God, that we come and set it now, oh God, so you can do what you want to do inside of this house, God, like never before, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, but we know, oh God, that you are growing this house great and strong, oh God. And Father, we know that the enemy is trying to come in, oh God, God, and cause chaos and cause havoc, oh God. But Father, we know, oh God, that it's said the son of your word, oh God, that when the enemy come in like a flood, your spirit is going to lift up a standard against it, oh God. So Father, I declare and decree now, oh God, and in the name of Jesus, oh God, that Father, you flood this house like never before, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, and drown everything that's not like you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, I declare, oh God, and decree now, oh God, that everything becomes subject, oh God, unto the higher power, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, God, in this atmosphere, oh God, when we leave this place, oh God, may you give us a greater seek, oh God, like never before, God, may we be like David, oh God, when he said that one thing that we desired, oh God, and that shall we seek after, oh God. So, Father, I declare, and I decree now, oh God, that, Father, when we leave, oh God, that we have a seek after you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. But, Father, we know, oh God, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run in, and they are saved. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I declare and agree, oh God, that, Father, oh God, you be a safe haven unto us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And that we become stronger, that we become stronger. Come on, Zion, open up your mouth and pray. Come on, Zion, open up your hearts and pray. In the name of Jesus, oh God, Father God, in this atmosphere, oh God, we pray that now, oh God, that this atmosphere, oh God, become conducive, oh God, for miracles, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, Father, let your miracles, oh God, fall among us like never before, God. In 
the name of Jesus, oh God, uh, those, oh God, uh, that's been lacking in their faith, uh, those, oh God, uh, that's been lacking in their will, uh, I declare and decree, oh God, uh, that they get in their faith, God, uh, that they get in their seek, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God, uh, come on, come on, try and pray, uh, and open up your mouth, uh,
No flesh get the victory, but you get the victory. And it is so who shamanda dia so he cut a bandele to Bamba D. Cabeste the Ruma Lele Bekande Bedoma Manandele Beka to do the Bansia. And it is so. And Jesus name, thank God. And amen. As the praise team, it's better to come. We thank you now, God. We thank you for who you are now. Because you've been better than good to any of us. God, we give thanks unto you because your mercy endureth forever. Because his mercy endureth forever. Anybody know about the mercy of God and how it stays forever? How it's here eternally? How it's here eternally? God, we thank you now. We thank you now. Yes, God. Hey, yes, God. Because you've been good. Because you've been good. we want is you. All we want is you. Somebody tell them that we want you, God. We want you. We need you, God. We need you to stay here, God. We need you to dwell here. God, we need you for more. We need you for everything that we do. We need you for every step that we take. We need you for every step that we take, for every move that we make, God, for every breath in our body, God. We need you. You
Make a joyful noise in this place. Speak unto your Father, the one who rules and reigns. The one who rules and reigns. And tell him he can have his way. Tell him he can have his way. We won't move unless you move. Hey, yeah, God.
something in this place but he's asking you a question will you worship me in spirit and truth that means reflecting down his resume what has he been to you and if you know him to be an almighty God and if you know everything is going to work out for your good I need you to tell him say dwell Say, dwell here. Dwell here. Yeah. Abide here. He wants to have his way. Abide here. Tell him, rest. Say rest here, rest here. Hey, yeah, yeah. You can build your home on my worship, and I'll stay right here where I'm welcome. You can build your home on my worship, and I'll stay, I'll stay right here. You can build your home on my worship. I'll stay right here where I'm welcome. You can build your home on my worship. And I'll stay, I'll stay right here, Lord. Dwell in. We won't move unless you move. We won't move unless you move. We need you to rush all over this room. We need you to rush all over this room. He said he won't do it unless we're open. He said he won't do it unless we're open. Are you open to worshiping the Father? Are you open to worshiping the Lord, our Savior? Are you worshiping the worshiping Yahweh? Make a joy for no.
our response. We asked him to dwell in the room. But where can he, where can he dwell? He has to dwell in a clean vessel. So I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I, yes, God, I surrender all. have to hear the words to apply them to your own life. Last night, thank you God, last night I cut my phone off and I had a personal, personal connection with God, one I ain't had in a long time. And the way he reassured me that he got me no matter what I've done in this world, he said, can you do it now? Can you surrender everything now? So if you're really gonna surrender, I just need you to lift your hands right here and tell him, God, I surrender everything to you. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my will to you. I surrender my way to you. Everything you can have, God. I want nothing. I want nothing but God. I want nothing but you. And with that being said, I'm going to worship you forever. I'm going to worship you forever. And to
song stop, but your worship shouldn't stop. I need somebody to lift up a worship in this place. Lift up a sound of worship in this place. Move past everything that you came in with. Move past everything that you came in with and lift your hands and give everything to God. Give everything to God. Say, God, you can have it all. God, you can have my way. God, you can have my will. God, you can have my life. God, you can have my mind. God, you can have my heart. I surrender everything. I surrender everything, and I need you to make a way. I need you. Have, have your way. Have your way. Have your way.
there is more that I require of thee. He wants to have everything of you. There is more that I require of thee. Yes, there is more that I require of thee. Yeah, will your heart and soul say yes? Spirit still say yes. Yes, there is more than I require of thee. Will your heart and soul say yes? So. I still give him a even when my mind says no I still say <laughs> even when I have another wheel to do I still say even when people kick their heels up at me I still say <laughs> even when my flesh don't want to bow I make it come on say yes Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible declares that hallelujah is the highest praise. If you don't have another word to say, if you can just have a hallelujah. If, you're not, if you don't quite have a connection with God and you don't know how to talk to him, all you got to do is just open up your mouth and just say, you know what, Lord, I might not have a word to say, but I do have one word to say, and that is hallelujah. Because when I give him everything of who I am, he pours out blessings. The Bible that he used to say in the old saints, used to say when praises go up, they said blessings begin to come down. When praises go up, healing begins to come down. Because the Bible declares, 
that he inhabit the praises of his people. He inhabit, he lives where you can give him praise. He dwells where he give when you give him praise. If you lift up the only name that's got power, if you lift up the only name that's got victory, if you lift up the only name that can heal, deliver, and set free, I dare somebody to cry out and say, Jesus. Come on, say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I feel him already in the room. Come on, somebody say Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My burden bearer, Jesus. My heavy load sharer, Jesus. That's who I call. Because the more I call him, the better I began to feel. When I feel like giving up, when I feel like throwing in the towel, one name that I can call, I can call upon the King of Kings. I can call upon the Lord of Lords. I can call upon the King of Glory. Fall in the room, King of Glory, Glory, Glory. Fall in the room when you feel like giving up. Spirit of depression trying to take you out. When you feel insecure on the inside out. When you feel like dying because you feel like that your life ain't worth living. All you gotta do is cry out to your father. Cry out to the King of Glory. Cry out to the one and true living God. J-E-S-U-S. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The son of David. That's who I call. Elohim Elion. El Elion. He is Jehovah, the King of Glory. Somebody open up your mouth and shout Jesus. He's worthy of it. I said he's worthy of it. Yeah. I said he's worthy of it. I said he's worthy of it. I said he's worthy of it. Don't matter what people think about you. He's still worthy. Doesn't matter how people, glory to God, whatever they do, he's still worthy. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Doesn't matter what it seems like. He's still, he's still. I might not be where I want to be in my life, but he is still. I said he's still worthy. I said he's still worthy. Might have affliction in my body, but he's still worthy. Might have trouble in my mind, but he's still worthy. I might be living in sin, trying to break out, but he's still, he's still, he's still worthy of the glory. He is still worthy of me lifting my hands. He is still worthy of my praise. He's worthy of it. And I tell you, even when your flesh don't want to do it, just stand to your feet and lift your eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. All of my help, it cometh from the Lord. I give you my all. I give you everything of me. I give you 100%. I give you everything. I'm not going to give you just 50%, but I'm giving you everything. This is who I am. This is what I'm going to be. I'm not turning back to my evil ways. I'm not turning back living in sin because you've been too good to me. So I thank you, Jesus. So I thank you. So I praise Hey, 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 hey. Satan's doing all that he can do to make sure that somebody in this room don't get their breakthrough. Hey, he's doing all that he can do to distract. He's doing all that he can do to sabotage, to make sure that somebody doesn't, does not see him for who he is. And that is a loving God that still has his arms wide stretched open, waiting on you just to surrender and say, Lord, not as I will, not as I will. When Jesus went into the garden of Gethsemane, he said, Lord, let this bitter cup pass. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to fulfill the assignment that 
God has placed on his life. And I believe that prophetically, there's somebody in this room that you're running from an assignment. There's somebody in this room that you're running away from the will of God. But can I tell you something? Whenever you run away from God, just like Jonah did, God has a way of putting you right back on course. Even when you don't feel like it, God still has a way to make your evil turn to good and make sure that everything that he has promised in your life I feel like preaching but for the foundation of this world it's still going to come to pass all you got to do is give him a yes just give him a yes amen ah. so God that's what we do we put it in this room that we give you a yes not just a yes in the church not just a yes at our homes but we give you a yes in our lives every aspect of our life we surrender it to you we surrender it to you in Jesus name come on put those hands together and I want to welcome you out to dominion and power family life center of Biloxi can you give yourselves a great big God bless you hallelujah Amen to our founder and general overseer, a great man of God, full of faith, power, and anointing. He is in the building today, and I'm excited to see what God has in store for us. Can you put your hands together for none other than Chief, the one and only Chief Apostle Paul L. Beer. Hallelujah. Amen. In her absence, elect lady, Dr. Donna Beard. Praise God. We love her so much. She is getting that Women of Power 2022 together, y'all. I'm telling you. On April 28th, 29th, and the 30th, make sure that all roads are leading to Baton Rouge. Somebody say Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We are headed to Women of Power. Ja'Kaitlyn Carr is going to be there. Uh, Stephanie, what's her last name? Jennings, amen, amen. Stephanie Jennings is going to be preaching on that Thursday night. Uh, uh, Prophetess Ruby Holland is going to be in the building. Praise God on, on that Saturday night and many, many more. You guys do not want to miss that, all right? It's going to be April 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That is Women of Power 2022, all right? Also, everybody in the room, if you have a cell phone, pull your cell phones out real quick. Everybody who has a cell phone, mine is sitting over by the computer. That's all right. My wife has it. But if you pull your cell phones out, you can go to DP Nation Biloxi on Facebook. Everybody have a Facebook page somewhat? If you, if you don't, it's also on YouTube. Just type in DP Nation Biloxi. Go to that video and please like and share that video on your timeline. Not because you like the church, not because you like me, not because you like Apostle Beard, but do it because you like somebody else. Because whenever you share it for somebody else, for them to get encouraged, you're doing it so that they might be lifted up because you never know what they might be going through. Amen. So if there is somebody in your life that you like, make sure you go ahead and share that video and make sure that it's on the uh, top of their news feed and their timeline. Also, everybody on Facebook Live, we want to welcome you to our virtual service. I want to thank you for tuning in because you could be anywhere right now, but you are here with us, and we thank you for that. I want to give a special thanks to my wife who is here. Praise God. Put my hands together for her. Give her a great big God bless you. Love her so much. Amen. Always standing in the gap and doing what is needed. Amen. For, for myself, for her family. Amen. For the body of Christ. She is a jewel in the kingdom, and I honor her yes because she told God yes. Amen. Even when she felt like saying no. Praise God. I'm just being honest. Can I be honest? Praise God. Thank God for them. Amen. Uh, Brother Brown, love you so much. Amen. The uh, prophet is in the house. Prophet Zephaniah Alexander and his wife. Hallelujah. Give God thanks and praise for them. Amen. Uh, Sister Gwen, love you so much. The praise team, Sister Gerilyn, all, all of you all, Paul, all y'all, the Atkins family, love y'all so much. Sister Kim Dennison is in the, his house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll see what the Lord says about uh, praise God. Anyway, hey, go, put your hands together for the spirit of giving. Amen. Giving is good because giving is God. We are getting ready to go into our hour or our time of giving. If you have not yet given your tithes and your, and your free will offering, that is how the work of God continues on. 
Somebody say, continue on. Say it again. Say, continue on. We need money to be able to continue to spread the good news. I'm believing God for a tent revival in May. Is May next month? That's next month. Praise God. I'm believing God for a tent revival at the end of May. Praise God. We're going to start getting that together at John Henry Beck Park pretty, pretty soon. Um, I'll also be heading out to Huntsville, Alabama for a tent revival in May as well. And as soon as we get back, we are going to set up something right there. I'm believing the possibility to be underneath that tent. Praise God. One night. He's going to get us one night. Amen. I'm looking forward to that. Can you put your hands together for our musicians too? Amen. Now, praise and worship leader, none other than Javion Shot, we're always ushering us into the presence of God. But we're not going to prolong the time. If you have your offering, you can come up as you will. Everybody all over the room, whatever you have in your hand, pay your tithes and your offerings. That's 10% of your earnings, whatever that might be as musicians. Give us some happy music. Hallelujah. Amen. All over the room. You have that 20, that, that, that 10, whatever you got. Give your tithes, bring your tithes unto the storehouse so there might be meat in mine house. The Bible says that you shall reap bountifully if you sow bountifully, but if you sow sparingly, you shall also reap sparingly. Amen. You know that he's able. Amen. Also, good to see you. Also, next Sunday will be Youth Sunday, and ministering in the pulpit will be none other than Prophet Zephaniah Alexander. Amen. He will be taking the pulpit for our youth service. The, the, the dance team's going to be dancing. It's going to be a complete youth takeover, that whole entire... I used to be in that department. I'm not in that department no more. They done kicked me out. Apostle, they done kicked me out of the youth department. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, God bless those who gave and who that desire to give in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Standing to your feet all over this building as we're getting ready to bring to the pulpit. Standing to your feet, everybody. Standing to your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are y'all ready for a word? Let me tell you, the, the way that the word will hit your home in order for it to change your life is when you pull on the man of God and you pull on him with an expectation of saying, God, I need something from you. And if you keep your focus on God and let God know that I need something, he'll speak to the man of God to speak to you, to give you direction on what to do from this day forward. But the man of God needs a pull. And I believe that that pull is going to be in the room. So lift your hands and say, Lord, whatever you have, for me tonight, I need it. Whatever you want to pour out upon me tonight, pour it out upon me. If my neighbor doesn't want it, let me have it. If the person behind me doesn't want it, let me have it. And I believe that it's going to hit your household. Can you put your hands together as we bring to the pulpit none other than the chief apostle, Paul L. Beard, as he come forward. Praise God for him. Hallelujah. Love you. Love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me. In such a special way. That's why I pray. I lift you up and I'm mine. By your name, hallelujah. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Again, lift your hands all over the building. You tell God, I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord. Love the Lord today because He cared for me. In such a special way That's why I pray Yes I do I lift you up And I magnify your name Hallelujah That's why my heart is filled with praise 
my heart, mind, and my soul. Everybody tell God, my heart, my mind, my soul belong. So belongs to you. You paid the price for me. Way back on Calvary. That's why I pray. Yes, I do. I lift you up and I magnify your name. Hallelujah. That's why my heart is big with praise. Again, my heart, mind, and my soul. You tell God. My heart, my mind, Lord, my soul belongs. So belongs to you. You paid the price for me. Way back on Calvary. That's why, Lord, I praise you. I lift you up. Magnify your holy name, your holy name. That's why my heart is big with praise over and over again. Yeah, that's why. That's why my heart, my heart is filled with praise. My heart is filled with praise. That's why. God, we serve. Angels bow down before him. Heaven and earth adore him. For the mighty God, you and I serve. Hallelujah. Put your hands together one more great time, shall we? 
Amen. We appreciate the Lord. Amen. For the lovely lady elect, elect lady that appeared in her absence. Hallelujah. She sends her love. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. We, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. She was, we were here to do and some things came up. Amen. Hallelujah. She said, I'm going to call Lady B. Amen. Hallelujah. And let her know. Amen. Praise it. I'm sending my love. Amen. Hallelujah. We appreciate the Lord so much for her zeal, her will, her tenacity. Amen. Praise it. We thank God for what God is doing in her life, in her, in her, in her ministry. Amen. And we're just excited about what women of power, amen, hallelujah, amen, God has never failed us as it related to WAP, amen, praise God, and he will not fail us this time, amen, praise God, we appreciate the Lord, amen, so much, amen, for, amen, one of the greatest pastors on this side of heaven, y'all give it up, amen, for Pastor G, come on and Lady B, give it up, make some noise, amen, thank God for their children, amen, praise the hallelujah, entire Whitfield family we bless the Lord for them amen praise God we appreciate the Lord amen praise God for each of you that's in the house amen praise God amen but this JV on Shotwell amen praise the worship leader love you so much sir appreciate God amen praise God hallelujah for amen glory to the maestros the ministers God bless you guys amen anointed to do what you do with the given amen we appreciate the Lord for you guys and we thank the Lord amen praise God hallelujah for amen praise God hallelujah ministry evangelist amen Jordan Wilson in the house love you so much hallelujah Let's thank God, amen, praise hallelujah, just for each of you, the Atkins, I love y'all so much, hallelujah, amen, we just go way, way back, amen, and just way, way back, amen, hallelujah, glory to God, amen, I just appreciate God, amen, hallelujah, for each and every one of you, amen, that is in this place, thank God for cuz, I love you so much, hallelujah, amen, we just appreciate God for every week, I D. Amen. That's in the house. Amen. Sister Crystal, I love you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just excited about God today. Amen. Praise God. The prophet himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Prophet Zelf. Amen. His lovely wife. Amen. God is just so good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just appreciate him. Amen. And so we're here on his behalf. Amen. Praise God. Please you have your Bibles there, but we're going to dive into this word, amen, get in it and get out of it, amen. Praise God, allowing God, amen, to have his way, amen. I'm so excited about this Biloxi campus, amen. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm telling you, the Lord spoke to me and told me that this would be the breeding ground for miracles, and boy, do I believe that. I believe that, amen. One thing about me, amen, praise God, I'm a faith walker. Amen. I walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Uh, uh, looking, amen. Uh, if you're not careful, sight will deceive you. Sight will get you off track. Sight will make you turn around. Amen. Praise God. But faith will make you stand your ground. Hallelujah. Amen. I just believe God. Amen. Hallelujah. For something supernatural, unprecedented, unparalleled in this area. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready. It's about to be lit. Because the Gulf Coast about to be hit. I wish I had some help up in this place. Y'all ain't. I thought y'all was ready. I just threw that out there. <laughs> yes, God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. Amen. I see it in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Look to have your Bibles. Amen. Praise God. We're going to invite you today. Amen. To the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 53 and 4. Amen. We know and believe that everything is going down. Save the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53 and 4. Thank you, sir. And the Bible reads as follows, amen, Isaiah 53, 4, amen. The Bible says, surely, somebody shout, surely. Surely, surely amen, he being Jesus, amen, had borne what? Our grace, Isaiah 54, 53 and 4. Surely he had borne what? Our grace. Our grace. Somebody shout, our grace. And carried what? And he, he has carried our sorrows. The Bible said, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Somebody shout afflicted. afflicted. The Bible said, amen, but uh, he was wounded, amen, for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our, we keep going over, our, amen. Just let me say, neighbor, it was ours. Oh, God, he bared it, but it was ours. He carried it, but it was ours. Amen. He was afflicted, but it was ours. 
Yes, hallelujah, glory to God. He, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we got healed. Touch today say, with his stripes, we got healed. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. Success, all we like sheep, amen, have gone astray. Amen. We have turned everyone to his own way. We got to watch that. Amen. Praise God. They say, neighbor, we cannot afford for everyone to turn to their own ways. Amen. The Bible said, hallelujah, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. The Bible said, verse 7, he was oppressed. Amen. And he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought, amen, as a lamb to the slaughter, amen, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generations? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 4. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, send a word, Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm trusting that he will. Hebrews chapter 4. Noting in the you're hearing, amen, from verses number 14. That being said, amen, praise God, in Isaiah 53, amen, praise God, which brings us to Hebrews, amen, praise God, 4 and 14 says, seeing then, amen, that we have a great high priest. Look at our neighbor and say, we've got a great high priest. Shout out again, we have a great high priest. Yes, we do, amen. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, amen, that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. So therefore let us hold fast our profession. I love it. Watch verse 15. 15 says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched. I wish I had some help in the house. Amen. Again, for we have not an high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Somebody shout the feelings of our infirmities. Can I break that down for you? Simply saying, amen, there is nothing that you're going through right now that Jesus hadn't already gone through. Simply being said, praise God, that there's no such thing as no one has ever gone through what you're going through. Because Jesus has already gone through whatever it is that you may be going through right now. Amen. Mind you, here again, we have not in high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. In other words, whatever you're feeling now, he's already felt it. Is that all right? The Bible said, amen, praise God. Uh, but he, amen, was in all points tempted uh, just like we are, yet without sin. 16 said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace because he knows what you're going through. Because, amen, he feels you, amen, praise God, amen. Because we have not an high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Now that opens the door, gives you the right, amen, to come boldly, amen, to the throne of grace or to the altar. Come on, say amen. The Bible said, amen, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help. Come on, say amen. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, because you've already gone through it. You can come to him while you're going through and find grace to help. I wish I had some help in this house. Amen. Somebody slap a neighbor if you ain't Omicron scared and say, I need a little help. Somebody in Biloxi, amen, stop a neighbor and just tell them, amen, I need a little help. Is there anybody in this building that's not ashamed to admit that you need a little help? Is there anybody in here, glory to God, that's not too proud, amen, to say right about now, glory to God, you need to be approaching the throne of grace to obtain mercy, hallelujah, in the time of need. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I need a little help right now. Yes, Lord, because some of y'all don't know when to holler help. Come on, say amen. If the truth be told, I'm not ashamed of the fact that I need help. I may be a minister, but I need help. I may be a preacher, but I need help. I may be the evangelist, but I need help. I may be the praise and worship leader, but I need help. Y'all, I may be the pastor. 
if I need help, excuse me, I just need help. So they say, neighbor, I'm not going to allow my title to keep me from being helped. I wish I had some help up in this place. I, I'm not going to allow my title, amen, to keep me from help. Help. Say amen. Slap my neighbor. Say neighbor, I need a little help. Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Children of God, briefly, amen. God stirred my heart concerning this word. I feel you. Somebody shout, I feel you. Shout it again. I feel you. One more time for the record. Come on, I feel you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's the word, amen, that God stirred my heart, amen, concerning here. Amen, praise God. On, amen, glory to God, this afternoon, amen, I feel you, amen. Hashtag oneness. Now, amen, I was there when the Lord was ministering to me, praise God, hallelujah, amen. And this is where we are right now, amen, as it relates, amen, to Christian known. This is where we are as it relates to the kingdom, praise God, hallelujah, amen, praise God. We as a believers, we as people of God, amen, we must always stay open. Touch your neighbor say, we've got to always be open because you never know who need what when. Come on, say amen. So amen, praise God. Critical thing in the church is, amen, that don't nobody feel nobody. I wish I had some help in the house. Say amen. Touch your neighbor say, neighbor, you've got to be in a place to where you can feel others. You understand what I'm saying, amen? It's not just about, amen, feeling you or who's feeling you, but you have to be in a place to where, amen, you can feel somebody other than yourself. Am I all right? Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, I feel you. Yeah, look at a neighbor, glory to God, holler at him, amen, praise God, honey, and tell him, amen, I got you today, boo. <laughs> Yeah, slap a neighbor if you ain't on my corn skin and say, I got you today, boo. Because I feel you. Come on, say man. You understand? Today you're not sitting by a stranger. You're not sitting by a hater. Come on, say man. I got you because I feel you. Yes, but, but regardless of what I'm going through, I got you today. Why? Because I feel you. I wish I had somebody in here, glory to God, glory to God, they had enough inside of you, amen, to feel somebody else. Hallelujah. I'm moving forward. I took the liberty, amen, praise God, to look up the word feel. Yes, I did. Hallelujah. I took the liberty, amen, to look up the word feel feel the word feel amen uh, in simplicity amen simply means amen to be aware of a person you understand what i'm saying amen to be aware of a person we cannot live life and we're just amen praise god not aware of each other we've got to be aware amen of each other so it says to be aware of a person or an object amen through touching or being touched amen hallelujah second definition amen it gives amen it says uh, to feel is an act of touching something or examine it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that this is vital in the church today. Hallelujah. Uh, to bring things home to you or to make things more clearer to you. Uh, I, 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 I've got a few synonyms. Amen. Praise God for the word feel. Amen. Praise God. And maybe one of these synonyms, synonyms amen, will hit somebody. Amen. Praise God in a great way. Hallelujah. The first synonym, amen, that I found for the word feel is perceived. Somebody shout perceived. Uh, yes, perceived. So I wonder today, amen, is there anybody in this building that's able to perceive, uh, amen, that somebody needs some help? I wish I had some help in here. I wonder, amen, uh, is there anybody in here today, amen, that perceived, amen, that a sister or a brother, amen, may need your help, may need your support. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray that another synonym, amen, for the word a man feel is uh, sense. Uh, is there anybody in here that's able to sense uh, a man when somebody else is going through something? Uh, is there anybody in here that's able to sense what it is? Uh, a man praise God that your sister or your brother a man is in need of your support. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor say neighbor we've got work to do. Hallelujah. A man the next synonym is detect. Somebody shout detect. 
I wonder is there anybody in here amen praise God amen that, that that's able to detect amen that my spirit is kind of low today and I just might need a little more support than I normally need I wish I had some help in here I wonder I'm on hallelujah is there anybody in here that can detect the fact that uh, that my praise is not where it normally is is there anybody in the house that's able to detect that yeah hallelujah that my hallelujah today ain't quite as, ain't quite as loud as it normally is is. Yeah, glory to God. A am, am I able to be detected today? Or will I just go through the whole service and be overlooked? I wish I had some help in the house today. Come on. Somebody shout, I feel you. Shout it again, I feel you. Uh, another synonym, amen, for the word feel is discern. Come on, we all know that one. Uh, somebody shout discern. Uh, is there anybody in here that's able to discern another individual uh, to the point to where, hallelujah, uh, amen, they may need a hug today? Uh, is there anybody in the house that's able to discern uh, that a sister or a brother, hallelujah, uh, amen, praise God, may need a little something extra from you today uh, than they would normally need? Come on, Wake up, church. Yeah, there are needs all around you. Come on, say man, but you got to have some sense of perception. You got to have some sense of sensing. You got to have some sense of detecting. You got to have some sense of discerning to understand what a brother or a sister may need in your presence. Come on, say man. Can I just preach it like I feel it? Oh my God, hallelujah. I went to my clothes, but yeah, that's another synonym. Amen. I found for the word feel. And it is the word make out, make out. Somebody shout make out. Yeah, glory to God. Can you make out, amen, that I'm hurting right now? Can you make out that, amen, hallelujah, I'm battling suicide right now? Yeah, with your spiritual self. Yeah, you say you got the Holy Ghost. But can you make out that, my God, I'm battling suicide? I wish I had some help up in this place. Come on, say amen. Look at the neighbor say, can you feel me right now? I need somebody that's able to feel me now. Now. Come on, say amen, hallelujah. Yeah, we shouldn't let folk leave out the same way they came in. Somebody ought to be discerned. Somebody ought to be able to make out. Hey, grab her and squeeze her. Hey, grab him and squeeze him right now. Don't let him leave like he came in Jesus' name. Can I get some help in the house? Anybody in my God is able to detect. We need some detectors in the house. No, I didn't say nothing about being nosy y'all ain't saying that because guess what I don't need to know all your business to feel you I wish I had some help up in here I ain't got to know all your all your info to feel you come on say man to me you ain't got to sit there and tell me all your business and all of you to feel me and not for me to feel you no I should be able to feel you and you ain't said a word I should be able to feel you baby and you ain't told me nothing I should be able to feel you and you ain't said a mumbling word. Come on, say amen to me. Slap a neighbor and say, can you feel me? Oh, my God, hallelujah. I feel like five minute preach working on me. Slap a neighbor if you ain't on a Omicron scared and say, can you feel me, boo? Boo, can, I just want to know, can you feel me? I need somebody to feel me right about now. Come on, say amen, hallelujah. Another synonym for the word feel is notice. Yeah, have you noticed, hallelujah? Have you noticed, hallelujah? Uh, that a sister or brother uh, ain't been in the house of God in two weeks. Uh, have you noticed? Come on, say amen to me. Uh, that who's usually here is not here. Uh, I wish I had somebody, uh, my God, that was able to notice. Come on, say amen. Uh, yeah, have you noticed, glory to God, uh, that right now uh, I'm at a low point. Uh, have you noticed that right now, uh, yeah, my spirit is wounded. Uh, have you noticed uh, that I'm in a low spot right now? Uh, can I get some help in the house? Yes, hallelujah. Slap a neighbor and tell him I feel you. Slap somebody else and tell him I feel you. Come on, say man, I feel you. Yes, hallelujah. Another synonym for the word feel is observe. Is there anybody able to observe? Come on, say man to me. Ah, glory to God that there's a sister or a brother in the house. Say man, hallelujah. That might be back inside of their cells are you able to observe come on that that's somebody glory to God, hallelujah that's going through the battle of their life and they 
he's sitting next to you and he can't get nothing. I wish I had some help up in here. Slap your neighbor, say, what are we doing in here? What are we doing in here? I wish I had. What are we doing up in here? Slap a neighbor, say, what are we doing up in here? Yeah, what are we doing in here? Yeah, are we in here for play? Are we in here just showboating? What are we doing up in here? Come on, say, man. Are we in here letting the love of Jesus shine through us? What are we doing? Touch the neighbor, say, what we got going on? Yes, hallelujah. Uh, my last synonym for the word feel is identify. If there ain't anybody in this house that's able to identify with me, I need somebody to be able to feel me. Somebody that's able to identify with me. Come on, say that to me. Yes, hallelujah. Touch your neighbor's name. We should be able to identify with each other. Say that to me. If I'm hurting, you ought to be hurting. If I'm going through, you ought to be going through. Say amen, huh? If I'm in a fight, you ought to be in a fight. Come on, say amen to me. Can I help the house up in here? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Uh, if I'm going through, uh, you ought to be going through too. Why? Because we're sisters and brothers in Christ. We in this thing together. Come on, say amen. I got to help you, and you got to help me. Come on, say amen to me. Uh, listen, glory to God. No gray areas. If the truth be told, every now and then, everybody want to be felt. Yes, they do. Come on here. Everybody, every now and then, everybody, glory to God, want to be felt. Are y'all hearing me? I believe all of that, that every now and then, everybody want to be felt. I come on here. I Listen, listen. Do you feel me? Can you, can you feel me? Y'all ain't sending to me. Oh my God. I know you hear me. I know you hear me because I'm talking your ears also. I know you hear me, but that ain't the question. I wish to have some help up in here. I know you can hear me, but question is, can you feel me? Come on, say amen to me. Slap a neighbor and say, can you feel me? Can you feel me today? I need you to feel me. Come on. Hearing me is one thing, but feeling me is a whole nother thing. Come on, say amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Proverbs 17, 17. Uh, the Bible said, uh, Proverbs 17, 17, a friend loveth at all times. And a brother, come on, is born for the day of adversity. Come on, say amen to me. Uh, we're brothers in this thing. we sisters in this thing. Yeah, we're born. Yeah, a brother is born for the day of adversity. Come on, say amen to me. Uh, he got my back and I got his. Come on, say amen to me. Look at a neighbor. Say, neighbor, can you feel me? I wish I had somebody in this house amen, that was able to feel me. We got to be to a place to where we can feel each other. Come on, say amen. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 6. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at a neighbor. Say, neighbor. We got to be able uh, to feel one another. God needs a six and two says, bear ye one another's burdens. And if so, then you'll fulfill the law of Christ. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. We got to be in a place that where we're able to bear one another's burdens. Come on, say amen to me. I ought to be able to pick you up from where you are. I ought to be able to pick up on where you are. Come on, say amen to me. Yeah, if I can't pick you up, What's, what's the use to being around you? Every now and then, I ought to be able to pick you up. Every now and then, I ought to be able to put a little weight on you. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Do you mind if I put a little weight on you? Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Slap a neighbor, say neighbor. Do you mind if I put a little weight on you? Say man, hallelujah. Yeah, a real friend ought to be able to hold a little weight. A real brother ought to be able to hold your weight. That's how you know you got a real brother. He can, if you lean on him, he can hold your weight. That's how you know you got a real sister. If you lean on her, yeah, hallelujah, you can hold her weight. Slap a neighbor, say neighbor, if I had to lean on you, can you hold my weight? Good God Almighty, I wish I had some help up in here. Yeah, somebody stop another person and say, if I had to lean on you, can you hold my weight? Come on, say amen to me. I thank God for Jesus, because guess what? I done had to lean on him and he was able to hold my weight I wish I had oh, some help up in here I thank God for Jesus yeah hallelujah because every time I got to lean on him guess what he's able to hold my weight lift those hands and shout hallelujah
hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout help us God. Good God have mercy. Hallelujah. Listen, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm getting out of here. Uh, glory, I just come to tell you. Amen. That I feel you. Hallelujah. Uh, my God, Romans uh, chapter 15. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 1. I'm almost too close. Uh, Romans 15. Uh, and 1 tells us, Jerlin, uh, it says, listen, uh, we then that are strong uh, out uh, to bear the infirmity. I wish to have uh, some help up in here. We then that are strong ought. Now we ought now. Everybody ain't doing it, but the Bible said we ought to be. Y'all ain't gonna help us. Everybody ain't doing it, but the Bible said we ought to be doing it. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Yeah, and not amen. Praise God to please ourselves. Ministry ain't about pleasing you. Ministry is about pleasing God. Ministry ain't about you being pleased. Ministry is about the Father being pleased. I wish I had some help up in here. Lift your hand and shout, show you right. Somebody shout, show you right. All that means is show you right. Yes, two says, let every one of us, amen, praise that we've got to learn how. Amen, praise that to be helpers. Amen, to our neighbors. Say amen to me. It says, Lord, God, let everyone of us, amen, please his neighbor for his good. Amen, to the edification. For even Christ, he pleased not himself Jesus he pleased not himself come on you can tell he didn't please himself why because he was wounded amen for our transgression he was bruised y'all ain't sending to me come on here he didn't please himself everything he went through he did that for us Jesus paid a debt that he did not owe because you and I owed a debt that we could not pay it was at the cross of Calvary where Jesus paid it all I wish I had some help up in here they hung him high they stretched him wide for me and you Jesus died can I get some help in the house lift your hands and shall show you right yeah, so three tells us for even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, uh, the Bible said the reproaches of them, uh, amen, that reproached thee uh, fell on me. Come on, say amen to me. Jesus said, Your reproach uh, fell on me. It was your reproach, uh, but it fell on me. It was your transgression, uh, but it fell on me. It was your sin, uh, but it fell on me. It was your unrighteousness, uh, but it fell on me. It was your wrongdoing, but it fell on me. I wish I had some help up in here. Come on, say amen to me. And that's why the Bible declared in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly lift your hand and shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout help us God yeah my God I'm doing the best I can to get up out of here slap two people if you ain't Omicron scared and say I feel you I feel you today I got you today I'm willing to hold you up today yeah you can lean on me today come on here yeah hallelujah you can lean on me and won't none of us fall I wish I had some help up in here lift your hand and shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout glory be God oh my God I need you to know as I get ready amen to head back toward Louisiana I need you to know that whoever you are today you're not alone I wish I had some help up in here slap a neighbor if you ain't I'm a crying scared and say you're not alone I don't care what lie the devil telling you I drove here to tell you that you're not alone no stop thinking that you in this thing by yourself no that's a trick of the enemy you are not alone stop letting the devil tell you that you ain't got nobody that's a lie from the devil's hell you're not alone slap your neighbor and tell them you're not alone yeah people need to know that they are not alone stop listening to the lies of the devil baby you are not alone reason being Deuteronomy 31 and 6 tells us to be strong and of a good courage fear not regardless of what you're going through nor be afraid of them for the Lord thy God he it is amen praise God that does go with you God 
God said, hallelujah, here. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. He said, the reason you're not alone, because everywhere you go, I'm going with you. I wish I had some help up in here. You might not see him, but he with you. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you might not see him, but he with you. Come on, see man to me. Yeah, the Bible declared hallelujah. He said, that where you go, I'm going with thee. He will never fail thee, nor will he forsake thee. Come on, say man to me. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you can hold on to that. God made you a promise that I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Be with you always, even until the end of the world. Come on, say amen to me. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. God said that He with you, and He ain't going nowhere. I wish I had some help in this house. So when it is that you can't see but one set of footprints, know that they're not yours. I wish I had some help up in here. They're God's. He then has picked you up, and now you've been carried by the Father. I wish I had some help up in here. Lift those hands and show hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah oh god i'm making my way i'm making my way out of here touch a neighbor say neighbor touch a neighbor say neighbor you're not alone come on tell somebody you're not alone uh -uh, i don't care what the devil said you're not alone in fact about it the reason i know that you're not alone because god himself is a very present help touch your neighbor say neighbor you're not alone because god himself is a very present help yeah, come here, David. David said in Psalms 46 and 1, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. God is help in trouble. Anytime you get in trouble, see what trouble don't know is that trouble got God attached to it. I wish I had some help up in here. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Every time trouble comes, what trouble fails to realize is that God has a attached himself to trouble so every time trouble come trouble drags God in the room with him you don't hear me what I'm talking about. that's why he said I'm a very present help anytime trouble show up come on say amen to me do you understand what I'm saying touch your neighbor say neighbor uh -uh. you're not alone God said he's a very present help yeah in the time of trouble he said anytime you look around and see trouble just look past trouble and you'll see me I wish I had some help in the house. Stop a neighbor, say neighbor. Anytime you look up and see trouble, don't get discouraged. Just look up past trouble and you're going to see God. Come on, say amen to me. Touch a neighbor, say neighbor. God is there. Anytime trouble is there. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm getting out of here. Oh my God, hallelujah. But I just come to let somebody know, glory to God, that you ain't in this thing by yourself. I come to let somebody know, my God, amen, that God himself is with you today. Yes, hallelujah, glory to God. Look at a neighbor, say neighbor. I feel you, boo. Yeah, you being felt. Hallelujah. Uh, listen, amen. We are, as people of God, we're troubled on every side. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. We're troubled on every side. But don't let trouble stress you. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Don't you let trouble stress you. We're troubled on every side. But don't let trouble stress you. Come on, say amen to me. If the real truth be told, trouble ain't designed to stress you. It's really designed designed to bless you. I wish I had some help. Ooh, I may preach in a few minutes. Touch a neighbor, say neighbor. If the real truth be told, trouble ain't designed to stress you. It's really designed to bless you. You understand what I'm saying? Ask me how so. Where you think doubles come from? Doubles can't come unless you got troubles. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Job got doubles for what? Not for preaching not for being anointed Job got doubles because he had troubles oh God I preach it in a minute come on say amen to me you understand what I'm saying listen hallelujah yeah you got to learn to see trouble in a different light you understand trouble really is your friend I wish I had some help up in here wait a minute apostle you taking this thing too far how was trouble my friend let me tell you how you got saved you got in trouble let me tell you what drove you to the house of God you was at the nightclub the boomer room you was at the little apple the big apple you, left, you was at the Shalomar. Y'all
y'all ain't saying that to me somebody slipped some of your drink and you thought you weren't gonna make it you ran into the house of God trouble ran you up in here and you've been up in here ever since I wish I had some help up in here you got shot at two or three times come on say man your life flashed before your face you ran into the house of God touch your neighbor say neighbor the reason I'm here today trouble brought me here I wish I had somebody that would stand up and give a true testimony if the truth be told trouble brought you to the altar trouble brought you into the house of God you came in here running for your life you came in here off them streets running for your life can I get some help in the house? Then they say, name. Trouble is really your friend. Come on, say man to me. Trouble, my God, is really your friend. Come on, say man to me. Yes, understand, praise God, hallelujah. The Bible said, tribulation work at patience. Patience work at experience. Experience work at hope. And hope makes you not ashamed. No wonder Paul stood up and said, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For what is it? It is the power of God under salvation under every man that will believe to the Jew and to the Greek I wish to had some help up in this house come on say man to me stop and even tell them you're not alone oh you're not alone you're being felt today come on say man to me oh my God look at neighbor say neighbor yes we are troubled 2 Corinthians 4 and 8 tells us we're troubled on every side if the truth be told uh, we're troubled on every side yet not distressed come on help in the house oh my god it says nobody god uh, we are perplexed but not in despair nine says persecuted but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed come on say amen to me touch a neighbor say neighbor you got help today shake a neighbor hand like you're gonna shake it off and say neighbor you got help today I come to tell somebody that you got help today it doesn't matter what it looks like it doesn't matter what it sounds like I want you to know today that you have help shake a neighbor hand here like you're gonna shake it off and say neighbor you're not alone you have help help is in the house help shows up today yeah you got help today you got H-E-L-P in the form of J-E-S-U-S I wish I had help up in here I said today you got H-E-L-P in the form of J-E-S-U-S slap a neighbor say neighbor help is here today. Be not weary in well doing. But when do see you, you shall reap if you faint not. Come on, say amen to me. I need about five people in here to pull on Jesus. If you pull on Jesus, you'll feel help. If you pull on Jesus, you begin to receive your help. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout help us God now glory to God I'm closing sir. I'm closing prophet but before I close I got to tell the people that I got good news come on say amen to me I'm closing Blondiva I'm getting out of here but before I get out of here I must confess that I got good news come on say amen to me I got good news slap a neighbor say neighbor apostle said that he got good news I brought good news with me today. Come on, say amen to me. And everywhere I go, I'm supposed to bring good news. Come on, say amen to me. Yes, hallelujah. How beautiful are the feet of those that preach the gospel. Come on, say amen to me. Uh, today, I didn't come empty handed. I came with good news. Well, the good news is, is that Jesus sends you a word to let you know that he feels you. That whatever it is you're going through, he feels you. He's been carrying your sorrow for a long time. He feels you. He's been carrying your burdens for a long time. He feels you. He paid your sin debt. Therefore, he feels you. So you're not in this thing by yourself. Yes, hallelujah. The good news is this. That whatever you're going through right now, the good news is, Blundiva, that God is going to get you out. Good 
got JV on can I preach in here for about five more minutes slap a neighbor and say neighbor the good news is that whatever you might be going through God gonna get you out come on say amen to me I come to tell somebody I'm glad you're here today because you need to hear this good news I got mail for you touch a neighbor say neighbor you got mail you you you, you got mail check your ah. You got mail. Yes, there we go. I come to tell you that God gonna get you out. Somebody holler at me and ask me how I know that whatever you in, God gonna get you out. Yeah, I ain't got enough for y'all hollering at me. Holler at me and said, Apostle, how do you know that whatever I'm in, God gonna get me out? I'm glad you asked me. I heard them said in Psalm 34. 19 though there be many afflictions oh Jesus I heard some 34 19 said though there be many I don't care how many are men though there be many afflictions of the righteous the Lord shall deliver them out of how many of them how many of you can I don't care what you're going through. Uh, it ain't bigger than God. I don't care what you're going through. It ain't bigger than God. Though there be many afflictions of the righteous, the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Don't worry about it. God gonna get you out. If your neighbor can't feel you, don't you worry about it. Because God gonna get you out. I need somebody one more time to holler back at me and ask me how I know that God gonna get you out. Yeah, holler back at me and ask me. Said Apostle, how can you be sure that God going to get me out. I'm glad you asked. Daniel was in the lion's den, but God got him out. I wish I had some help up in here. Peter, they put him in jail, but God got him out. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were put in the fiery furnace, but God got them out. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Paul and Silas, they put them in a Roman jail. But at midnight, God got them out. Y'all don't hear me. Come on, say amen to me. Come here, Lazarus. Lazarus died. Say amen to me. Well, four days laying in the grave. Guess what happened? Jesus says, show me where you laid him at. Y'all ain't happening to me. And guess what Jesus did? Walked up to the grave. Jesus got him out. I come to tell Biloxi, it ain't no secret that what God can do. What he done for Lazarus, what he done for Shabbat Meshach, and Abednego, what he done for Daniel, what he done for Peter. He's here today to do the same thing for you. Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, you coming out because God, he goes, ah! Jesus, God, he gonna get you out. Look at our neighbor, say neighbor. Don't cry in it. Don't bathe in it. I don't care what you're going through. God, gonna get you out. Say amen to me. He the same yesterday, today. Ever, evermore. If he got them out then, he going to get you out now. If you ever have any trouble and wonder what God going to do, y'all don't hear me. Can I put y'all on game? If you, have, if you ever have any trouble wondering what God going to do, just look at what he have done. And what he have that going to tell you what he going to do. I wish, ooh, I, wish to, I wish to have some help up in here. Come on, say man. If you ever wondered if God going to get you out, just look at what he done for them. If he got them out, you better know that he going to get you out. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor, you're on your way out. I don't
don't care what it look like weeping may endure for a night joy joy is coming in the morning man I suggest to you be not weary in well doing in due season in due season you going to weep if you faint not cast not away therefore your comfort is which has a great recompense of a reward he that shall come he will come and when he get ready to come he ain't going to tarry say yeah say yeah shout yeah sends your word today Jesus sends your word to tell you that I feel you and today not only do I feel you I'm here to heal you so that being said I want anybody that's burdened or carrying a burden Get up out of your seat and make your way to this altar. You ain't got to be ashamed. You don't owe nobody no explanation. If you going through anything, if you going through anything, Jesus said, I'm here for you today. I feel you today. And not only do I feel you, I'm here to heal you. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, hit this altar, hit this altar. Those of you that may be in need of something, hit this altar. He's here for you today. He said he's here. Jesus sends you a word today to tell you that I feel you. And not only do I feel you, I'm here to heal you. Ah, oh my God, hit this altar. If you will, if you will, I feel deliverance. I feel deliverance. I feel deliverance. Il a la manzata da mancata, rebe, shele, rebe, cotta da baba, 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 manse. Glory, hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, God, now, God, now, 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 God. Heal now, yeah. deliver now, yeah. set free now, yeah. make a way now, now God, now God, God do it now, they need a miracle now, they need a breakthrough now, they need a way made now, now on the altar, now here on the altar, now here on the altar, God, do it today, do it now, God, I know you can, I know you're able to do it right now, oh, 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 what needless pains we bear, oh, we do not carry them to God in prayer. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry them to God in prayer. Oh, God need us now. God need us now. Meet us now, God. Meet us now. Meet us at the altar. Meet us on the altar. Meet 
and every need God. You're the God that meet needs. Meet the need God. Meet that need. God, I ask of you to meet that need. Meet it now. Meet it now, God. Meet it now. Meet that need. Meet it now. You're the God that meet every need. I'm asking you to meet her need. Whatever. Whatever the need is, meet the need. Meet it now, God. Meet his need. Meet his need. I'm asking you, God, to meet his need. Whatever the need is, I'm asking you now to meet his need. Meet his need. Meet his need. Jesus. Jesus. I know them afresh. I know them afresh. I know them afresh. Renew him. Rejuvenate him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God. Meet in need. Meet in need, God. I'm asking you to meet in need. Whatever the need is. I'm asking you to meet his need. If he thought it worthy to bring his burden to the altar, I'm asking you, God, to meet his need. Do it now. Meet his need. Meet his need, God. Meet his need. Meet his need. Meet her need. Meet her need. Meet that need. I'm asking you to meet her need. Meet her now. Down at the altar. Meet her now. Take that need. Take that burden. You're the God that removes heavy burden. Take that burden now. Take that burden now. Take that burden now. Meet her need. Meet it now. I'm asking you, Jesus. Meet it now. Meet that need. Meet the need, God. You know the need. You said that you know the things that we have to, that we have need of. Even before we ask, I'm asking you, God, to meet her need. Meet it now. In the name of Jesus. Meet her need. Hey, hey, Jesus. Hey, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Hey, ooh. Meet my sister's need. Meet my sister's need. Hey, I go. Hey, oh. Meet her need. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Meet her need, God. Meet her need, God. God, today, meet my sister's need. Bring her out, God. Bring her out, God. Do it for her, Jesus. Do it for her, God. Meet the need. Jesus. Meet every need. Meet every need. Meet every need. Meet every need. Meet the need, Jesus. Meet every need. Meet every need. You can do it. Meet every need. Meet every need. Meet every need. Meet every need. Lift your hand. Meet 
every need. In the name of Jesus, meet every need. Somebody shall meet his need. Somebody shall meet his need. Hey, I got Jesus. says would never happen for God you bring it to pass cover her now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet touch her in the area of her education touch your school and God as it relates to her classes that one that gives her the most trouble God you meet the need in that class go before go behind her God shield her and protect her God in the name of Jesus I ask you for miracles on her behalf I ask you for created miracles oh God let them know that she can do all things through Christ that strengthened her in the name of Jesus God I ask you today meet her every need in Jesus name I declare and I decree that it be so. Somebody lift your hands. Give him praise. Give him glory. Look at our neighbor, said neighbor. Look at our neighbor, said neighbor. It's getting ready to happen. Look at our neighbor, said neighbor. It's getting ready to happen. I don't care what the devil say. You hear me? You will not stay in the place that you in the place that you're in. You will not stay in the rut that you're in. Jesus sends you a word to say, I feel you. And I'm going to get you out. We walk by faith. And not by sight. I heard him say, I will not suffer. My holy one see corruption neither will I leave their souls in hell thank you Holy Ghost we got neighbors and neighbor the devil can't have you cause God already got you good God am I but I love you today get ready sweetheart stand on your feet for me God sent your word today to tell you that the worst is behind you and the best is yet to come. Do you hear me? When I tell you you've been through hell walking over toilet paper, one ply, I like two ply, thank you Holy Ghost. You, you name it, you've been through it. A few years ago, it's like your life caved in on you. You've told me nothing. And it looked at almost as if you would not come back from where you were. But somehow, some way, God gave you another footing. And you was able to catch your footing and gain better ground. Uh, thus, you're standing in the face of the prophet right now. I'm looking at a miracle. Uh, you hear me? I'm talking about I see where the devil tried to rob you of everything that you had. But God told me to tell you, get ready. You hear me? God about to give you devils for your trouble. God am I. You hear me? That's like a little, that's like a little lightweight issue in your body. Thank the Holy Ghost. But God said, even now, He's bringing it under control. I command your body to line up with the word of God that said, by his stripes, you've already been healed. Somebody lift your hands in this room. Give them praise, right? Oh, God. God, I love you today. Yes. My God today. Uh. 
come stand on your feet. Yeah. Listen, I'm leaving. The Lord said, you're next in line for a promotion. You're next in line for what I see. Listen, I told you something before, but I don't know what it was. But I want you to know, I'm feeling you right about now. Do you hear me? When I tell you, you're about to see the favor of God. You are about to experience the hand of God in your situation. Do you hear me? My be God promise so this come to pass. You hear me? I'm looking at your income. It like, look like your income give it almost double. Watch me what I tell you. you hear me? God said he can trust you to bless you. You hear me? When I tell you that man's going to favor you, he's going to favor you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And I see like some kind of a I see like some kind of a, I don't know if this is orientation or what, but it's going to be so much favor on your situation, you're going to be able to get around all the little hiccups. Watch what I tell you. That man going to favor you just like that. Do you hear me? And I don't know what you drive, but God said your vehicle get ready to change out. You better, you better hear me what I'm telling you in this room. Good God of God. Don't you love him today? Don't you love him today? I'm going to appreciate it. you in her womb. It's almost like, almost as if the devil wanted her to miscarry you. Oh, la, 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 I'm set there, baby, Kota. 
I mean, I mean at the birth, it was, it was, it was like a struggle. It was like a struggle to get you here. Like, yes. Because that didn't, because the devil didn't want you here. But see, thing of it is, you wasn't the devil's pit. You was God's pit. Oh, shut up. Touch the neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm sorry. I'm God's pit. I, I, I'm God's choice. I'm like a good choice stick. I, I, I'm God's choice. You're God's choice. You hear me? And the Lord said he got plans for your life. Do you hear me? Listen. Forget what's going on around you. Because that does not matter. You hear me? What matters is what's going on in you. Do you hear me? Christ in you is the hope of glory. Do you hear me? Stay focused. When I tell you, you're going to make it. 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 Do you hear me? In the areas of your schooling where you're being challenged, God told me to tell you, glory to God, he's giving to step in. And he's going to cause you to step it up. You hear me? I see one class in particular. I'm telling you, I see one class in particular. Yeah, that one. That God told me to tell you, glory to God, hallelujah. He's going to anoint you hear me? for that class. Do you hear me? The favor of God, the wisdom of God that's given the rest on your life is going to be crazy. Do you hear me? When I tell you, Tanzania, that your money is already made. Baby, your money already made. All you got to do is stay focused. already had them I see you having dreams I see you being a dreamer you hear me and God gonna speak to you through dreams he gonna visit you through dreams and every time that you'll even have open visions you hear me and as God leads you all you got to do is just follow him do you hear me it was a late Dr. Martin Luther King said he said if you got the goods they'll be the pathway to your door do you hear me that's some good you're going to have. You hear me? Folk, write this down. Write this down. Folk going to know your name. You hear me? People are going to know your name. Your name is going to be a household name. You are gifted beyond measure. You got gifts inside of yourself that you ain't even tapped into yet. Do you hear me? Thank the Holy Ghost. I don't know even what I'm saying, but God said you are an artist in your own right. Somebody lift your hands in this room. Good God. If I be God prophet, if I be the prophet of God, watch it come to pass. say that <laughs> this is what I pray for thank you Holy Ghost very peculiar very unusual you hear me so different until people really don't really don't some people they, 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 they pass judgment on him too soon because of his peculiarness very very peculiar Handpicked, chosen of God, prophet in his own right. Do you hear me? And if I be the Lord prophet, you hear me? The hand of God rests upon him even now. Hear me what I'm telling you. I see him in his room and the Holy Ghost be dealing with him. I see him in his room and the Spirit of God be dealing with this child. Sometimes riding down the road, he's in the back seat, but the Spirit of God is dealing with him. Do you hear me? If I be the Lord prophet, how old are you, son? How old are you? 
He's 12 years old. He's 12 years old. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You mark my word. By the time this boy gets 17, it's going to be ridiculous. You hear me? Mark my words. At 17, he's going to be ridiculous. At 17, y'all going to be trying to figure it out. Do you hear me? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Jesus. His first message is going to be so mature. You hear me? It's going to be like your boy been preaching for years. Do you hear me? Because he's going to have so much, so much head knowledge in the Holy Ghost. He's going to preach his visitations. Y'all know him. He's going to preach his experiences. Do you hear me? Like the Holy Ghost. I see grown men there scratching their heads at the wisdom and the revelation that's coming from this boy. You hear me? You hear me? And we'll be able to point his finger and prophesy and hit it on the money. Watch me what I tell you. Like the Holy Ghost. Like the Holy Ghost. Ask me why I say that. Because the prophet knows another prophet. Give me what I'm telling you now. Watch out, take. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. There's something that lives in him. There is something that lives in him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Can I tell you something? He'll take you places that you've never dreamed of. I said he will take you places that you never dreamed of. Watch me what I tell you. And you and you just follow. You just follow. And you will see things you ain't never seen in your life. You hear me? By be God prophet. So shall that come to pass. Do you hear me? Like the Holy Ghost. There'll be a day he'll lay hands on you. And you'll fall out of the power of the Holy Ghost. Good God of I see what I see. Come on, clap your hands. Appreciate God for the divine spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Clap your hands for the spirit of giving. Giving is good because giving it is God. Thank you, Holy I want to challenge your faith today with a jubilee seed. Somebody shout a jubilee seed. How many know what that is? That's $50. Trust them and don't you die. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody say you can't afford to give it. No, the real truth is you can't afford not to give it. God is up to something today as it relates to your seed. I say God is up to something as it relates to your seed. Thank you. Blunt Diva, you know, when I, when, I, when I handed you my credit card, that card, I felt something. When I handed you that credit card, I heard the word kickback. I heard the word kickback when I handed you that credit card. And I don't know what it is, but it like somebody owe you some money. And God told me, to the glory to God, you get ready to get a kickback. You hear me? If I be the Lord prophet, now you need to testify when that happened now. And let me know I ain't missing this thing. You hear me? I see a nice little check hitting your hand, hitting your account. Good God Almighty, now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Listen, if I be the Lord prophet, you get ready because God told me to tell you. God said he get ready to up your situation. Ooh, good God Almighty. Somebody shout, up my situation, God. Up my situation. God said he give it up your situation. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If I be the Lord, prophet. So shall this come to pass. Lord, have mercy. Listen, listen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I, I just thought, Lord, have mercy. She's trying to work over there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lady B, I just saw some new keys in your mama's hand. I'm telling you now. I just saw some new keys in her hand. If I be the Lord prophet, this will quickly come to pass. Watch me what I tell you. Good God of mine. Like the Holy Ghost. Get that scene and come give it in Jesus' name. Fifty dollars, hallelujah. Trust him and don't you die. Can I tell y'all something about fifty dollars? If fifty dollars, if fifty dollars gonna break you. You broke already. Good God have mercy. I'm looking for God to do it this year. I said, I'm looking for God to do it this year. Say, God, I'm looking for God to do it this year. I'm looking for God to do it this year. Good God have mercy. Look at neighbor, say, neighbor, you just keep on dreaming. 
because whatever you want, God going to do it. God going to bring it to pass. Good God of mine. Can't you tell by the music, bro? Can't you tell by the love you felt? Before you took one step through the door And that next level teaching God is reaching higher Every week, frequent flyers Speaking life despite deceased and viral Meant to be in, cause he's inside It's not a private party, you're invited Come in tired, believe inspired All generations even cyber Find us on the web like we some spiders uh, Let's slow it down So you understand how it's going down Up in here, there's one brew Gotta love everybody that comes through Then doors, in short Grace is what we endorse Faith is what we help grow